Okay, guys, these are going to be some of the word problems from your homework quiz 4-2. And in each one of these, we're pretty much going to use point slope form. So let's remember what point slope form is. So it's going to be y minus our y1, and it equals our slope times x minus x1. So in each of these situations, they're going to give us the slope, the rate of change, and they're also going to give us a point. And then we can use point slope and then convert it to slope intercept. So it says Ariana was given a box of assorted chocolates for her birthday. Each night, Ariana treated herself to some chocolates. Ariana ate two chocolates each night. And after five nights, there were only two chocolates remaining in the box. We're going to write an equation and then also give the domain constraints, which are our x values. So um, and in this case, they're using t for our x-axis. So the domain is only going to be out of choice A or C because C of T is like F of X, which is your output. So you can eliminate those two choices altogether. Now let's look to see on our um, X axis is our days after the birthday. And on the Y axis, we have the total amount of chocolates in the box, not how many she's eaten, but how many is in the box. So on day zero, she has a total of 12. So you can kind of go ahead and see what your answer may be, but let's go ahead and use point slope. So we know that our slope is going to be negative two because each night she eats two chocolates, so two chocolates out of the box. And then we have an ordered pair at five nights, there are two chocolates left. So nights is our X because that is our number of days. And, um, and then the remaining chocolates in the box is our y. So this is going to be 0 0.5 comma 2. Now let's use point slope. So we're going to have y minus my y1 value of 2 equals my slope negative 2 times x minus my x1 value of 5. Now let's go to, we're going to convert this to slope intercept. So we're going to distribute the negative 2. And now we just need to add 2 to both sides. So y equals negative 2x plus 12. So the chocolates that we had in the box before we start, before she started eating was 12. And then each night she ate two. And then after so many nights, the chocolates were gone. So we can see that our equation is going to be negative 2t, in this case, plus 12. Now, the domain is how many days or nights that she has chocolates remaining in the box. And so this is going to be choice A. From zero, from day zero to day six is the amount of days that she has chocolates. Now let's look at the next one. John is signing up for a gym membership with a one-time fee to join and then a monthly fee. The monthly fee is $50. So that's your rate of change. Also your slope, your M value. The total cost of the membership, so including the joining the fee, and um, our $50 a month is what he has to pay. So at $300, he is paying $300 for three months. So let's look to see which um, coordinate is which. So our X's is number of months. So that would be the three. So that's gonna be three comma, and then the total amount for the membership is the money. So that's our Y. So here's our point. And here's our slope. So we're going to have y minus 300 equals our slope times x minus 3. We have y minus 300 equals 50x minus 150. We're going to add 300 to both sides to put it in slope intercept form. And we have y equals 50x plus 150. And again, it wants to know our domain restrictions. So that's the number of months. He only has $850. So he's not going to be able to join the gym forever. So it's going to be limited. So he's going to join from month zero and until he runs out of money. And so we can plug in the total amount of money he has, $850, in for Y and solve. So I'm going to plug that in and then solve for x, which is number of months. 
So we're going to subtract out the 150. And we get 700 is equal to 50x and divide by the 50. And I can see these zeros cancel. So we're really just dividing 5 into 70. And I believe that's going to give us 14. So he is going to join the gym from 0 months up to 14. So that's the maximum amount. So that looks like that this is going to be choice A. Nathan borrowed some money from his friend in order to help buy a new video game system. Nathan agreed to pay his friend $8 per week. So that's going to be our rate of change. That's going to be the M. And notice that it's sloping down. So what we're going to be asked to do is find out how much money that he owes. So it's going to go down $8 every week. So it's negative 8. At 10 weeks, which is our X, at 10 weeks, he owes his friend 40 bucks. So here is our point and here is our slope. Again, let's use point slope. Y minus our Y1 of 40 equals negative 8 times X minus 10. We're going to distribute the negative 8. And now we're going to isolate the Y. So we have y equals negative 8x plus 120. So this is how they got their equation. Now, we want to restrict the domain because there's a certain amount of weeks that he will not owe his friend. So he owes his friend at zero weeks. He owes the total amount. And then it looks like on the graph, it's going to be 15. So we could do this algebraically to see why total amount he owes is zero and solve for X, total amount of weeks it takes to pay him back. So I'm going to subtract. This is um, a good illustration of when your intercepts are important to, to use and to identify. And so we have negative 120 equals negative 8X, and then we're going to divide by negative 8. and x equals 15. So our domain is from 0 to 15. So this is, looks like it's going to be choice C. Jason is a salesman who sells a computer at an electronic store. He makes a base pay of $55 and is paid $3.75 for every computer sale he makes. So the total amount that he's going to make is 375 times each computer cell, which is X, plus his $55 just for showing up to work. It says the maximum amount of money that he can make. So he can make 350 so it can be equal or less than. So the store is only going to pay up to 355 So here is the equation. And so it's we want to restrict the domain. And so we want to know... Um, what is the least amount of hours or cells that he can make up to the most? So we know that just by showing up and making a zero cells, um, that is part of the domain. So that's going to be zero. And now we need to solve for X. So I'm going to subtract out 55. And we get 3.75X is less than or equal to 300. And then we're going to divide by 3.75. I'm going to use my calculator. And we get 300 divided by 3.75. Oops, let me try that one more time. 355 divided by 3.75. And... is gives us 80. X is less than or equal to 80. So let's see what choice that is. Again, when we're doing domain, we're talking about the inputs. And so the least amount is zero. And then the most amount is going to be 80 cells is the most amount of cells he can make. And then he's reached his limit where his company will not pay him more than that. So that looks like that is that choice C. Okay, we're going to do this last one. 
So before we even start reading this, let's look at the x-axis. It represents the number of hours driving. And then our y is distance remaining to city um, A. And so Oliver is going to drive from his house to city A without stopping. He drives at a speed of 40 miles per hour. And so that's going to be our um, rate of change. But notice that we have a negative slope. So it's negative because we are um, getting closer to the city. Um, and then it says for driving three hours, he's 80 miles away. So three hours, hours is X. He's 80 miles away. So three comma 80 is going to be the point. So we're gonna use point slope again. So we have Y minus 80 is equal to negative 40 times X minus three. We're gonna put it in slope intercept form and we get negative 40 X plus 120. We're gonna add 80 to both sides. And that's going to give us y is equal to negative 40x plus 200. So that's how they got the equation here in our domain. So the number of hours driving, he's going to start out at zero hours. And it's going to take him up to five hours until he reaches his destination. So, but if we did not have this graph that we could find that we want to know when the total, um, Distance remaining, which is y, when it's zero, when we're actually at our destination. So I'm going to plug in zero for y and solve for x. We're going to subtract out 200 from both sides. And we have negative 200 equals negative 40x divided by negative 40. And that's going to give us x equals 5. So from zero hours to five hours is the time that he is driving to reach city A. I hope this helps.